Guys, this is my raw feeding plan. Now, you know, I didn't write the book on raw feeding. I'm just sharing with you how I feed my dogs the raw diet, the formula that I follow. I will link plenty of resources in the description of this video for you guys to do your own research and come up with your plan. If your dog is at an ideal weight, the average raw fed dog will require two to three percent of its body weight in raw food daily. That's 2.5 percent. That is the max in most cases of what you should feed. For example, Big Gus weighs 65 pounds. His feeding formula is 65 times 0.02 percent equals 1.3 pounds of raw food per day. I feed Gus twice a day, so I split 1.3 pounds in half. To feed morning and evening, which equals 0.65 pounds each feeding. And here's a look at what's in the bowl. It's 80% of everything on the left and 20% fruit and veggies. That's meat, bone, organ meat, sardines, spice mix, which I'll show you in a minute, and one whole egg with the shell. The raw egg is a source of protein, as well as the meat and the organ meat, and the shell is a source of calcium. I bought a meat grinder, and I used that to grind the meat, the bone, and the organ meat together. Now you need a meat grinder that's powerful enough to grind that bone in there, which will give you the right amount of bone and meat in your ratio. After much research, this is the meat grinder that I chose. I purchased the Kitchener electric meat grinder that is 1.5 horsepower, super heavy duty, stainless steel, commercial grade meat grinder. And this thing is a beast. By purchasing this meat grinder, this has allowed me to cut a lot of time out of preparing the food for my dogs, especially. I can grind the perfect amount of meat, bone, and organ meat into the food, vacuum seal it per serving for each dog. There's there's definitely a science behind raw feeding and you really have to make sure that you are preparing the best balanced biologically appropriate meal for your dog. Raw feeding is much more than just meat and bone and organ, guys. So let me walk you through some of the other details of important ingredients that you don't want to leave out in raw feeding. Raw feeding starts with your protein source. I am very fortunate that I have an amazing chicken processing plant right here within 15 minutes of my house, Bell and Evans, who raise and process the best chicken. They have an outlet store that is open five days a week and I can go there and stock up on great chicken sources and duck. I'm also able to buy the hearts, livers, and gizzards from this outlet store, which is the organ meat. I'm going to show you in a minute how we determine how much organ meat to put in with our protein source. The next important ingredient is sardines, guys. You can get sardines in spring water only in spring water. This is a very important ingredient and I add it to every meal when I feed my dogs. Sardines are a big source of omega-3 fatty acids. Let me explain the benefits of adding sardines to your pet's food. They are a great healthy source of protein. They also help develop muscle and connective tissue. Sardines keep the immune system strong through antibody formation. They protect the kidneys from developing kidney disease and sardines also slow or prevent dental disease for your dog. So whether you cook for your dog, feed raw, or feed your dog kibble, please add a sardine to every meal. The benefits are definitely worth it. Now I want to share a spice mix that you do not want to leave out of your pet's food, no matter what you feed them. Ground turmeric, cinnamon, and black pepper. In the spice section of your local grocer, if you can buy in bulk, that's great. You want ground turmeric, ground black pepper, and ground cinnamon. Studies show that turmeric helps prevent cancer and inflammation in our dogs and for us guys. However, the body doesn't like to absorb the turmeric, so you have to add the black pepper. It will help absorb the turmeric into your dog's body. So you can't skip out on adding the black pepper. Now let's talk about the cinnamon. One of the main benefits of adding cinnamon to your dog's diet is that it's an anti-inflammatory. It has a lot of anti-inflammatory properties and its ability to slow down or actually stop the growth of bacteria, which helps in skin infections, ear infections, other problems like that. So let me show you how I incorporate this spice mix to my dog's diet. In a medium-sized Tupperware container, I mix equal parts of turmeric and cinnamon, and then I add only about an eighth 
of that amount of black pepper and mix it up. There is a right and wrong amount that you can serve up to your dog, so you wanna follow a guide such as this one to ensure that you're giving your dog the right amount. I give my dogs each almost a tablespoon of all three ingredients mixed together. So guys, even if I'm feeding Ollie, I still add my spice mixture and the sardines because it's absolutely good for them. And you can do this too, depending on what you are feeding your dog. Add a little bit of sardine and this spice mixture to it. It is just going to benefit their health for years to come. Then I add my meat, bone, and organ mixture to the bowl. Now I store all my food in our freezer along with our food too. So you don't have to have a separate freezer unless you're storing a huge amount of meat. I am currently still going through the rest of my Ollie food and the dogs are doing very well on it. Now we can't forget our whole fruits and veggies. Very good for dogs. You can add local fresh ingredients. I like to add canned peas, canned carrots, beets, all this. I usually rinse the canned vegetables before I serve it to my dog, but it's a perfect inexpensive way to get those whole fresh vegetables into your dog. Shopping for your dog is just like shopping for your family, guys. It is the same. They need the same good quality food that our bodies need. It's that simple and we need to stop overlooking that fact. Pureed 100% all natural baby food is also a great way to get those fruits and vegetables into your dog's meal. Raw feeding is not as expensive as you think it is. You just have to be a smart shopper. Let me show you how we make our meat, bone, and organ mixture. We first grind the organ meat by itself and put it in a bowl. Then we grind the chicken bone. I leave the skin on, they need those calories. We grind that together in a separate pan. This way I can send the bone and the meat through the grinder a second time when I incorporate the organ meat into it and we're running that through right now the organ meat the bone and the chicken a second time through the grinder it is very easy for the dog to digest the bone after it's ground a second time then we proportion that ground bone meat and organ meat into our vacuum sealed container and we vacuum seal it for easy storage and freshness. This was the first time that we did this process of grinding our own meat with the bone and packaging it. So we're still learning guys, but we have a starting point and so far, this is a great system. This is working for us wonderfully. Purchasing this grinder has just been a lifesaver for feeding my dogs the raw diet. And the cool thing is, is this grinder is gonna outlast my lifetime. It was definitely worth the $600 investment. So a quick recap of what I put in my dog's food bowl as a raw feeder is the meat, bone, and organ ground together, sardines, my spice mixture, which is turmeric, cinnamon, and black pepper, and one whole egg with the shell in every meal. I use my own vacuum sealer that I purchased off Amazon, very affordable, I will link it below. This keeps my food fresh, ready to feed, ready to serve. My meat grinder is commercial grade and both the vacuum sealer and the meat grinder I can use for my family to make my own burgers, my own sausage. It's easy to clean, it comes apart, everything is stainless and just heavy duty guys. It's built to last, effortlessly produces the job like a beast. A lot of you have had many questions about this meat grinder, so I'm trying to give you a little bit of an up close view of it so you can see how heavy duty this guy is. I have a link to it below in the description. I bought it off of Amazon. <laughs>